This week I'm back doing what I love the most, which is riding with mates. Vicky has found us an absolutely stunning cottage and we are right smack in the centre of all of our planned rides. So now falls, the darkness begins. We arrive on the Friday night and stay overnight at the cottage and the next day we are meeting Zoe and Andy. Planning a relatively short ride at about 13 to 15 miles, but this will give us time to socialise and we've all got drones so we'll have time to get a lot of serious dronage. stayed overnight in their camper van and are ready to go. There's Andy with his serious drones. So we're up in the Man Tour area, doing a nice uh, 15 mile ride with hopefully lots of dronage. Mam Tor or Mother Hill is named because of the frequent landslides giving birth to smaller hills lower down. The road was abandoned in the late 1970s after repeated efforts to repair it failed. Wow. Definitely not much left of the road here. Oh, sorry, Tony. Oh. Mark needn't have been concerned about holding me up because I also failed on one of these steps. So annoying. relatively short GPX but it is packed with views 
and awesome scenery and some really good fun technical downhill sections. I can highly recommend this one. I didn't even look before we went, so it was a bit of a surprise to me, actually, that, that was quite technical. I'm just having to get down in one piece, so I don't need to go fast. Oh, thank you. money the next section is the most fun of this loop and it was even more fun with the surprise of drops that I didn't think were there. <laughs> no sudden drops or anything. You okay? Good, I really enjoyed that bit down there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a laugh today because I said, anything we should know, any, dro any drops down there? No, nope, no drops. And then there was like five drops. Yeah. In the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there were some good drops too. They were quite good fun, but. <laughs> It was an absolutely beautiful valley, but when you're surrounded by hills, there's usually only one way out, and that is up. And this was a corker. So now you're here again, knocking at my door. A little too late for, I'm sorry for. The lights went out because you kept cutting the cord, and I started to fade into your grave. See, I finally opened up my don't be under any illusions, this is a long battery or leg killing ride depending on your genre. Alright, we are 
are heading up a bit just behind GoPro. Oh, no, that doesn't sound good. Oh, skip the gear. Sometimes that can be catastrophic on an e-bike with the overrun. Go through. Oh, Did you crash your gears as well? Oh shit, that can be really nasty to get out on an e-bike. While you were chasing everything else but me, I'm starting to pray out from the grave. See, I finally opened up my eyes And I saw me come back to life That I'd be Oh, it's definitely bent. You're going to need to get that straightened. It's time to be someone I want to wreck Both Mark and I crashed some gears, but successfully fixed and went on with this amazing ride. Reservation, but you never came, so I'm checking out If you look very carefully at the front rider Zoe, she takes a head first dive straight off the trail. But don't worry, she had no injuries. For those of you that are new to the cave down descent, this will humble even the best of riders. It's an extremely technical and loose descent. The future is now, not backing down Cause the future is now Once you're done with the lumpy section, the trail speeds up, flattens out, and drops straight into the town of Castleton for your drink and refuel. Yeah, chips for me. I said I fancy some chips. Yeah, let's do it then. Feel the heat on your skin. A new fire. All right, so there's everybody getting ready. Put some extra clothes on because it's minus one this morning. So we've got a 20 mile ride around the Lady Bear Reservoir in the Doom Valley. Andy, Mark's getting ready. Vicky and Zoe. Unfortunately, this ride was over very quickly after poor Vicky fell into a culvert and broke her ankle. We checked her for injuries, moved her out of the hole and took her to hospital in the van. It's a dangerous sport, but Vicky and ourselves love it and Vicky is expected to make a full recovery and be back biking soon. If you want to know a little bit more about what happened, please have a look at Mark Sawtell's video.